everyone it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty thanks for stopping by today I will be doing a Latafa video I am going to give you my first impressions of two fragrances which just dropped from Latafa and Co one of them it is from Latafa Pride and the other one it is from Ad Al Safaran and both fragrances are inspirations of niche fragrances. The first fragrance on the list, it is from Latafa Pride. This is the packaging of the fragrance in this series. There are two fragrances. There is Art of Nature 1 and Art of Nature 2. Art of Nature 2 is not yet available here. It is supposed to be a clone of Parfum de Mali Altia and this one it is a clone of Maison Crevelli Oud Maracuya. The packaging it is very different but this is La Taffa. This is how the inside packaging for Art of Nature 1 looks. This is very blinding but this is is actually plastic and the fragrance opens like this and this beautiful bottle is inside. This is what Art of Nature one looks like. It is very pretty. I think this is gorgeous. In the pictures it looks a bit strange but the overall presentation I think it is quite pretty. The back of the bottle it looks like this and then you can see the juice inside from the sides of the bottle. This one has a camel on the bottle and Art of Nature too it actually has I believe two horses. Like I said in the beginning this fragrance it is inspired by Oud Maracuya I have not smelled Oud Maracuya but it must be a popular fragrance because Fragrance Avenue, French Avenue, they also have an inspired fragrance by uh, Maison Crivelli, Oud Maracuya and everyone also says that this one it is very close. This fragrance it is marketed as being a spicy sweet fragrance and after having played with this fragrance and worn it for a few days it is more of a fruity goma fragrance and it is not at all floral. The opening of Art of Nature 1, it is quite fruity. It is not cloying sweet fruity, it is more of a tangy sweetness. The top notes are black currant, fig and plum. There is no passion fruit or maracuya listed. However, the mix of fruits and rhubarb it does mimic a note of a uh, passion fruit or maracuya depending on how you say it. Guys, the rhubarb in this fragrance, it is such a pure rhubarb note. It is actually mouth watering. The top note, it is sweet, the fig and the plum. However, the rhubarb, it is a crisp clean rhubarb. It is not nauseating. It is very inviting and aromatic. It is really fresh, clean and raw. It does not smell like a fruit bowl. It is a nice blend. However, to my nose, the rhubarb, it is the most pronounced note. Well, at least in the middle of this fragrance before the vanilla and the other notes kick in. This fragrance it is fresh. It is fruity but it is fresh. However when the fragrance starts to progress more into the middle and the other notes for example the oud note and also some of the notes which are listed in the base like ambergris when these notes start to mingle with the top notes this is very beautiful and this overt fruity opening it does tone down a bit and the vanilla does come into the mix and it is not a very dense uh, goma fragrance it is 
still goma but it is more of i would say a light fruity goma fragrance the hot note of the fragrance it is listed as leather rhubarb and rose there is rose but at this point in time i cannot smell any florals also the leather note it is not at all present and also in the dry down of the fragrance after having worn this for a couple of days, I really could not sense any leather note and I am very sensitive to leather. If there is a leather note in a fragrance, I can normally sense it. However, the middle of this fragrance, it is very beautiful. It is not as fresh, fruity, tangy. When the vanilla mingles in with these fruity notes, the fragrance does become a bit warmer. The base of this fragrance, it's ambergris, oud, and vanilla. On my skin, the dry down, it is more vanilla and musk as opposed to oud. There is at the moment a very, I would say, slight oud note. It is more that the fragrance is laced with oud. Granted, this has not macerated, so I expect this oud note, it will become more pronounced when this fragrance sits a bit and it matures. On the box, this batch of fragrances it was created in June of 2024, so this fragrance, it's quite new. You can say it is fresh out of the factory, so I do need to allow this to sit a bit. My first impression at the moment is that this is a beautiful fragrance. I do like it very much, this Maracuya Rhubarb Accord. It is beautiful, it is easy going, very easy to wear. This is not a fragrance I would wear in the fall or in the winter months. Based on my own style, what I like in fragrances, what I like to wear in different seasons. This is a fragrance I would love in spring and summer because it is so fresh and also with this uh, Mara Maracuya Rhubarb Accord, it does not have enough depth at this moment in time for me to wear this in fall winter. The oud note, it is not as strong and also the ambergris note and the vanilla, it is not as deep. This has not macerated as yet and the fragrance, it is quite strong. The opening, it is a bit loud, it tippers down, but this one will have a lot of sillage. So I will allow this to sit and I cannot wait to pick this up again in spring summer. I find this to be a very beautiful fragrance and for the price point it is outstanding. And for the two or three days that I did wear this full day, I never got tired of it and it never felt, you know, like I am wearing a basket of fruits or I have perfume hanging over my head. A lot of fragrances with oud and fruits, at times it can be a bit too much, but at the moment, the oud note in this fragrance, it is quite toned down. So I will be featuring this one again in a month or two in one of my life after maceration videos. The next fragrance that I do have from La Tafa & Co, this one, it is from Ad Al Saffron and it is called London Oud. Guys, when I saw the name London Oud, yeah, it reminded me I knew that there is a fragrance called London Oud. I smelled this fragrance and it would not leave me alone. So I started searching the internet and I saw that Fragrance Dubois has a perfume called London Oud. So what did I do? 
I ordered a couple of samples from Fragrance de Bois. It is unbelievable. This sample, it is costing 18 euros. And normally when you buy samples, yeah, you do get a coupon for 10% off at least or something like this. These people sent me a coupon for all of 5% off should i order this fragrance i mean this is honestly a bit cheap but i didn't have anything from fragrance dubois so i decided to get this and especially because i wanted to know if london oud from ad al safran is inspired by london oud from fragrance dubois I have not been able to find anything on the internet so I am going to tell you guys today if these two fragrances are similar are they clones I have tested it so I am just going to do this unboxing do the review and I will let you guys know my thoughts about this one but both fragrances they do have the same name this fragrance from Ad Al Safran, it was produced in May of 2024. So this is quite new. The outside packaging, it is okay. It is a bit hard getting this out of here. This is the way the bottle looks for London Oud. This is the same style of a uh, bottle as La Atissant. The top part, this here, it is actually wood. It says here Ad Al Safran. The bottle is quite cute. When I saw the bottle, even before I ordered this fragrance, I was thinking maybe it is inspired by some uh, fragrance from La Atissant, but it is not. I have not been able to find any official notes for this fragrance on the Latafa website that I bought this. They are also not listing any notes. Guys, when I got this, I would think close to a month ago, the fragrance was very thin. I could not get much of a woody accord, much of an oud accord. What I did get primarily from the fragrance, it was a very strong marine note. At the moment, after having allowed this fragrance to sit a bit, I am getting very warm woody accords. There is a nice dose of oud in this fragrance and also some floral spicy accords along with the marine notes. The opening of this fragrance, it is quite fresh, leading me to believe there must be a dose of citrus in the opening. For most fragrances, it is normally bergamot, or in this case, it is probably lemon. It is quite different. I do get this citrus accord and also there is a very strong marine accord. It is very similar to Marina from Ad Al Safran. It is very different. It is an interesting opening. The opening can be classified as strange, but at the same time, I find it to be beautiful. It's different. I do like it when fragrances are different because at the moment I am testing so many fragrances and a lot of times, you know, it is the same opening with bergamots and some floral notes or some creamy notes. But this one, it has a very strong marine ozonic opening mixed with citrus and some spicy notes. The opening is fresh. It lingers quite a bit. It is quite long. And at some point, the fragrance, it starts to get warmer. The woody notes start to appear. It warms the fragrance. And at the same time, some floral notes start to enter into the melange. This ozonic note, 
it tapers down and the fragrance goes from fresh marine like into a more woody fragrance with floral undertones. At this stage, London Oud, it is not so thin. The fragrance, it gains depth, it gains body, and it starts to become, you know, an oud fragrance, what I was expecting. Some of the Ad Al Saffron fragrances, when they are oud based, the oud can be quite strong. So I was expecting when I ordered the fragrance, a blast of oud. There was not much of a description on the Latafa website. They did not even say if it's a masculine or feminine fragrance, but when I searched for uh, fragrances for women, this one came up. When London Oud moves into the dry down phase, when this fragrance really starts to settle, it becomes a bit more spicy, it becomes very earthy. Actually, in the middle of the fragrance, there is already some earthy accord, so there has to be a good dose of patchouli and some other spicy notes. The dry down of the scent, it is quite beautiful. It is very different to the opening. The marine notes are still present all the way through to the dry down of the fragrance. It is only towards the end of the heart of the fragrance, towards the base when this fragrance is starting to settle that I do get an oud note. The oud, it is not very strong, it is not animalic, it is a very clean, crisp oud. I do not have the note breakdown, but the dry down, it would need to be, I can think of it being patchouli, sandalwood, or maybe some kind of uh, maybe cedar. I looked at the notes for the fragrance Dubois London Oud, and it is cedar and cardamom and nutmeg. So I would think this fragrance would have a similar set of notes, but the dry down of this fragrance on the skin, it is beautiful. When I got this, I really wasn't sure about it because it's very thin. And this fragrance, you know, the batch was only created in June and it has not macerated. However, with the month or so it has uh, been sitting in my fragrance cabinet, it has made quite a transformation that I can already wear this fragrance in the fall and I do like it. It is different. It is not this spicy warm oud bomb of a fragrance. This marine ozonic accord in the scent it does make it different. It makes it a bit special. You can say I don't have an oud fragrance with a marine note. Should you pick up this fragrance, it does need a bit of time to settle. The first time you try it, it will be a bit of a disappointment because you are not expecting this marine ozonic note. But after this little one cures, it is a nice fragrance. It is not where it should be. I can smell this fragrance and I know it needs to macerate a bit more and I know where it is going. I expect the oud note to become a bit more pronounced and also the spicy accords. But for me, I love this fragrance. So how does this fragrance compare to Fragrance Dubois London Oud? Guys, I had a sneaky suspicion. I ordered London Oud because I was thinking they have the same name. I had not seen on any other website 
that Ad Al Saffron London Oud is a dupe for fragrance to Bois London Oud, but when I compare this fragrance to London Oud from Fragrance to Bois, it is definitely an inspiration of this fragrance and it is a very good one. And by the way, when I look at the notes for Fragrance to Bois London Oud, this also has a mint note, it also has a marine note, and I think there is probably mint in here. I could not smell mint, I could just smell a very fresh accord, so I am hoping at some point this fragrance, the notes are listed somewhere. Being that Ad Al Saffron London Oud has not macerated, when I compare the two fragrances, I would say at this point, this is about 75%. Fragrance du Bois, it is a bit more woody at this time, and the Oud note, it is a bit stronger. But both fragrances, they are going in the same direction. It is the same mix. An oud woody fragrance with an ozonic note. However, when I was testing these two fragrances, every time, you know, I tested them on a strip, I had to write the name of the fragrance on the testing strip because the dry down of these two fragrances there is no big difference. Honestly, I am really happy that I ordered this sample. It was expensive, but my speculations were true. So in the end, I do not mind doing this for you guys. This fragrance, it does have very good lasting power. It is not a loud bismuth fragrance, but it does have nice sillage. This is a beautiful fragrance. If you are looking for something different, if you want to stand out in the crowd and you are not wearing the same vanilla oud or rose oud fragrance that everyone else will be wearing this fall, this is one to look at. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Send me some comments and hope to see you again soon on my channel. Tschüss!